What's up guys? It's me, as always, BFloyD, and uh, welcome to, what's the name of this video again? Why, why high school is a fraud. So a couple things before we get started. Uh, before anyone starts complaining. Oh my god, why is your lighting so bad? Why is only this half of your face lit and this, this half has a shadow on it? And why, why don't you just turn that light on? It's because if I turn that light on, then my whole face goes um, shadowy. And the light's really bright, so just shh. And secondly, I just wanted to do a bit of a thank you. My last video, the Bruno Mars vlog, is currently on 186 views. And I posted it just six days ago. For me, that's quite big. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite happy with that. So thank you for everyone that watched that, that's also watching this. And if you've come from my blog for uh, BCM112 and you're watching this, make sure you uh, subscribe while you're over here so you can see whenever I post new stuff. Anyway, yeah, this video is more for um, high school people since I finished. Uni is so different that it made me just think of like everything I learnt in high school and how it's sort of a lot of, not a lot, but how some of it isn't accurate at all. And this week for uh, one of my subjects, Emergent Media, we were talking about uh, trajectories of convergence and, and actually discussed the high school dynamic and how different it is from uni in how the focus has changed. So the focal point in terms of when we were discussing uh, high school stuff was that high school has a very centralized system in the in classes. Uh, the teacher is the focus and the students are all paying attention to them. And, and access to your phone and uh, computer, computer at least for internet access at least, is restricted and communication between students is limited unless it's required for the class and then with university there's more of a decentralized system where the lecturer in lectures isn't necessarily the complete focus you're allowed to talk to each other you can go on your computer you can just look at memes if you want to at least in bcm 112 you can i legitimately just look at memes all the time so i thought i'd use that to go into my topic for this video and uh, what will be my blog post for this week. The things we're told in high school that I think aren't accurate, aren't necessary, and weren't necessarily helpful for me. But yeah, I think in relation to how it takes us away from social media and using it and changing our role as an audience, which was another thing we talked about, I think it relates to the weekly topic, hopefully. I mean, I just want to chat some shit and like, be able to use it for uni. But anyway, let's get into it. So personally, um, a couple things that I did in my senior year, which I mean, no, they weren't bad, but it's like stuff you weren't advertised, advertised? Stuff you weren't necessarily like told to do. So start of year 12, right? We get free periods and I'm like, sweet, gonna like study on these free periods, gonna catch up on all my work, gonna be like the best student. Uh, first free period, yeah, did my math homework or caught up. I was like, yeah, sweet, awesome. Second free period, found out I had friends that had free periods at the same time. Never studied again till the end. Free periods was like awesome time for some cards, just chatting nonsense, you know, like I'm doing now. Now even just going for a bit of a drive, you know, just hanging out with the boys, just getting a good catch up in, you know, it was good for that. And personally for me, uh, having a break from everything was important for school. And I don't think that's something that was covered enough at school, at least not for me. Personally, to be able to focus on studying or to focus on work or anything, I needed time to relax to then be able to refocus and do the best I possibly could. I think sort of the key example for me in that working out in my favor was that we had this doctor guy come in for um, year 12 and like tell us how we should be studying. Uh, and this was like three months before the HSC kicked off. And he was saying like eight hours, study eight hours a day, do all of this stuff. And while it's probably good advice for a lot of people, a lot of people want to do really well, if you have your own idea of what you want to do, and if it doesn't require a 99.99 ATAR, 99.95, whatever, then only you can know what you want to do. And if teachers don't know that, it's or if certain people don't know that, then it's they shouldn't really be telling you how to work for yourself. Personally, for me, I didn't study all of that time. I didn't do eight hours every day. Um, and I got a 69.25 <laughs> ATAR and got into the uni course I wanted and am now doing exactly what I wanted to do from the start. So I think that really showed to me that like I accomplished what I wanted while making it comfortable for myself. And I think the idea of the HSC being made to be like everything, I think it's off-putting. Personally for me, it was off-putting more than like 
inspiring me to study. I think for anyone that's like-minded like me that's going through high school right now that's thinking like it's daunting or that wants to take time to relax but is forcing themselves, if you can better apply yourself after relaxing then it's worth it. And a key example of this was uh, the two weeks, two weeks before my trial exams, I think it was the two weeks before my trial HSC exams, I was sick to the point of not being able to study and I, I was in contact with two of my teachers well, I, no, I think all of them, but two of my teachers got back to me uh, saying that I should take time to relax, I shouldn't worry, and that I'll be alright based on what I already knew, and just to make sure, to focus on recovering and getting better, rather than just forcing myself to study to the point that I completely drained myself, and those were the subjects I did the best in for the HSE. So I think that really showed to me that they had the right approach in teaching me and getting me to do the right thing for myself and that paid off the most in the end because those are the two subjects I cared the most about. Advanced English and Modern History, for anyone wondering, those, those subjects are the, are the best. You'll just see so much, particularly after high school, that everything's so different, particularly in university. At least for my course, um, we're all on our computers all the time. There's a Twitter feed for well, the one subject I'm talking about in particular, Emergent Media, which this is for. There's a Twitter feed that we all talk to each other on. Uh, we tweet, we make memes and stuff during the lectures. And it's, you're, you're not told to do so, but it's like, it's encouraged that uh, having discussion with each other and engaging in what's happening and having fun with it is encouraged. So I mean, for me in particular, uh, I like producing media. Obviously, that's why, I'm, why I have a YouTube channel. So I think it, this course just played so much to me, just showed me that the high school system where it's like sit down, shut up, pay attention to the teacher and learn something for this major exam, for these major exams at the end of the year that are going to determine your entire future and if you get, and if you don't get what you want then, then you're going to be screwed forever. It's just, to me it's an idea that's stupid and outdated and definitely not an idea that uh, works for me. So don't be fooled by high school's centralized system and how it works and don't be intimidated by the way it restricts you to focusing on the, these particular things and trying to draw away from social activities or any outside activities. Leisure activities is what I think I'm trying to think of. Because like we discussed in the lecture, the change from high school to uni, uh, well from high school to the course that I'm in, was so drastic in what's encouraged and the systems are so different from the focus isn't on the teacher or lecturer or tutor that you don't need to feel intimidated or held to this system in high school. So I hope me waffling on a bit's been helpful for any high school students, at least for anyone that feels like I did in uh, finishing the HSE in you know, needing time to relax and all that stuff because I certainly took it. I played, I was playing video games up until the start of my exams and I did just fine and got what I wanted to do. So I mean, I turned out fine. I mean, I think I turned out fine. I make memes and GIFs at uni. And I think that's pretty cool. Uh, some people may... Some people may not, but like, I don't really care. I turned out fine. You can too. So just, if, if you're in year 12, if you're in high school, and you're intimidated by this whole system, relax. It's all a lie. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's all a lie, Jesus Christ. Christ, Christ, Christ. I'm certainly not saying that the HSC isn't important or that school isn't important, but I'm saying like take the time to enjoy it. Appreciate the time you spend with your the friend. <laughs> Appreciate the time you have with the friends that you have at high school, and work your way through it, and everything will be cool when you finish. You you you'll find something to do, and you'll be sweet, you, and you won't look back. That's it for me from now. Uh, if you enjoyed, but I don't need to advertise myself. I have an outro for that idiot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did come over from my blog, please subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, I'd appreciate growing the channel. Uh, I'd appreciate growing the channel. I'd like to grow the channel and would appreciate any support in doing so. But yeah, thanks again for all the support. Uh, I've had a lot of good support on the channel. 27 subscribers. F***ing famous me, mate. What was that? But yeah, getting all those subscribers. Uh, 170-something views, I think I said, on the Bruno Mars vlog, which is awesome. It's like 40 or so views away from being my all-time highest viewed video. All time. Of all 10 videos I have up. But yeah, support's been awesome. I have you guys to thank for that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.